Position 8 is also gathering a lot of attention. The ballot initiative is calling for a change in how dialysis centers operate. Right now, DeVita and Frazenius is operating about three quarters of dialysis clinics across the state. CBS 13's Angela Musalem is getting answers of what a yes or no vote could mean. Well, it's certainly a heated issue with two very divided views. One side is concerned Prop 8 would shut down dialysis clinics like the one behind me. The other side says it just wants more regulated rules over clinics and a slice of their profits to go toward patient care. It's basically a, a true lifesaver. It's definitely changed my life. You can find Walter Chandler at this DeVita Dialysis Center three days a week, four hours each time. Maybe I can get in early to get a dialysis, get home earlier. Chandler began receiving dialysis in 2016 and says it's his only option for survival. If Prop 8 passes, then I'm definitely going to have to pack up and move somewhere else. Chandler is one of about 80,000 patients in California receiving dialysis. Don't put dialysis patients' lives at risk. According to opponents of Prop 8, dialysis patients like him would lose access to treatments and end up in the emergency room. They say Prop 8 would allow insurance companies to pay less for a patient's dialysis treatments. The fear, of course, is that dialysis clinics in California will shut down. These are corporate profit centers making billions of dollars. But supporters of Prop 8 say that's just a scare tactic. What we would see, though, is funds uh, from those profits being invested back in patient care. Steve Smith is with the California Labor Federation. He says Prop 8 would force for profit dialysis centers like DeVita and Fresenius to use a portion of their profits to improve patient care. We're seeing uh, horrific conditions in some of uh, the clinics, uh, including things like cockroaches being in these clinics, uh, unsanitary conditions, blood stains. Either way, Chandler feels his time is running out. If Prop 8 passes, you are basically signing a death sentence for a lot of us. I'm sorry. And the coalition heading the No on 8 campaign says it doesn't have a backup plan if Prop 8 passes. Angela, thank you. Might remember